Now that uh, brings me to mind right away that, uh, assuming that somebody's watching this or listening to this and they're not already sold as they should be, uh, because listen to the advocate you are for your authors, they should be sending you a query. I don't want to send you a query. <laughs> you sound like the guy. Um, but uh, assuming that someone is thinking of also sending to another literary agent crazy, but just on the off chance you reject them and they want to they want to pick out somebody else. Uh, what would you say is the best way for authors to evaluate literary agents that they might consider working with and what sort of things should they be watching out for? Okay, so let's say um, you've done your research and uh, you know that the agents you're querying represent your kind of stuff and, and, and whatnot. Um, I think there are a few things to to be aware of. First of all is, uh, are they an editorial agent and is that what you're looking for? Not all authors are looking for an editorial agent. In fact, I have authors on my list, even though I'm a very editorial agent, who don't really want to do that. You know what I mean? Like they're a few books into their career and really they're mostly working with their editors and I'm not doing a ton of editorial work with them and that's totally fine. Um, but if you really want that and the agent who's offering doesn't really do editorial stuff. Um, that's an important thing to establish, and and, uh, and so you can talk to the agent ahead of time about what kind of agent they are. I think it's important too to set up expectations when it comes to communication. So, my philosophy, you know, to to an extent, is that I work for my clients. So their preferred communication style, I try to cop to that. I have some people who love to jump on the phone. I have some people who hate to be on the phone. Um, I have some folks who like to text. I have some folks who never text. Um, you know, for me, the mo for the most part, what I say to authors when I'm offering representation is that 99.9% uh, .9 of the time I respond to emails, you know, within the hour, within the same day. I can't always pick up the phone when you call, but I can usually schedule a phone call either for later that day or the next day. And that's my communication style. That's the expectations I want clients to go forward with. You know, I'll let them know that like it usually takes me a week to read and write an edit letter for a manuscript, but usually there's like three manuscripts ahead of you in line. So I try to establish this is what you can expect and to make sure that that feels right to them. Um, you know, because that same author, if we hadn't had that uh, conversation, might expect me to, um, you know, pick up the phone every time they call. And uh, if I didn't do that, they might get upset. But if we establish that beforehand, they might think to themselves, oh, John's not ignoring me. This is just his, you know, his work schedule. Um, you know, he takes meetings during the day, so he might not be able to pick up the phone. And what could have been a conflict is avoided because you kind of set this stuff up at the outset of your relationship. That makes sense.